A lot of you said that this was not the correct texture. I just bought this. Um, I bought it at Ulta. So I did kind of give it a couple squeezes. I don't want to use it again today. To be honest, it's not my favorite, but I do want to make sure everybody is included. Um, that's, that's right, right? Let me know if this is right. I just feel like it's so patchy. But I'm, I am used to a very um, opaque eyeshadow base, which I'm gonna use today because I missed it. And also, <laughs> so many also's, but wait, there's more. Gerard Cosmetics is having a big sale. I believe it's 57% off the site. Either way, it's over 50% off. And you can get this, which is what we're gonna use today, clean canvas. Let me go get you a link. Also want to just say one more time that I am gonna start alternating this because again, this is one I get asked about a lot and a lot of you already have this. So we're gonna use it because you already have it and we wanna make sure that we're getting the best results using it. So I did use it yesterday. The look turned out nice. Um, it wasn't, I, I could tell that it wasn't what I am used to, but it was still great and that shadow did last. So if you already have this, I will kind of alternate. So I'm thinking soft baby pink today. Let's see where we end up. I wanna see if I have some heart rhinestones too. <laughs> Aside from the rhinestones, this is gonna be a pretty, um, we'll say semi-tame. Let's start with some clean canvas. And I'm gonna use a pink base, so I'm not gonna to worry too much about my lid space because I'm gonna come back with the pink base later. Right now we're gonna take a C31 and just push this all the way up to the brow bone. So this is actually gonna be a very easy way to get definition without working too hard. We're working smarter, not harder here. So we're going to take this brown liner. This is from Shiseido and I love these because they're so tiny. And if you have small eyes, this is such a good technique. So I do want some definition through my crease, but you're thinking, Rose, that's not your crease. You're right. And the reason why is because I want to bring that way far out of my crease so we can actually see it. If I was to put it in my natural crease, we wouldn't even see it when I have my eye open. So this is gonna make my eye look much larger. Easy peasy, so easy that is. And yes, I do have a steady hand, but this base underneath here is gonna make this just glide on so easily. Also, the base is going to change the color, but we're still gonna layer eyeshadows on this. And this is just giving us a very thin line. Now me and these mob beauty shadows, we have become very close recently. These are all refillable. You can buy smaller ones if you don't want to buy this many eyeshadows. They're just everything we want in a brand right now. I love them. So I'm going to grab this shade and you're going to see me grab this shape today. I know we're wild, but I really want this line to remain very, very thin. I'm just going to start to kind of press this onto that line. And I also wanted the more red brown. Let me tell you why I picked this. Because there's going to be red in there and then it's gonna go so well with the pink. So the red and the pink are in this color. And you can really see that if you just stare at it. I'm, I'm you know, I'm onto my color correcting and really finding your undertone. I just thought of a fun way to do that as well. I'm getting ahead of myself. I just get too excited. Picking up a little bit more, all I'm doing is taking a C30 and I'm just gonna start to push that on top of that line that we created. I know this might seem like a lot of work, it's actually not, I promise, because we're not gonna be using that many shadows, but I wanted this line to be as delicate as possible. Grabbing a little bit more. Just keep layering that up. I'm not sure if I tagged the brush, but let me go ahead and tag that while you watch me press this on top of here. See how it changed the color over there? But we'll tag the brush. This is a concealer brush, but since I'm here, and I'm always here to help, I like to show y'all different ways to use the brush. You don't 
don't put limits on nothing. Just keep pressing that on top. Something's going on in there. Douglas needs to be part of it. There we go. This is also a really good tip. If you just want to branch out of your normal routine, try something different, just switch the way that you use a brush. I remember I would look at tutorials and, or even just a picture of an eye look and I would go, why can't I get that look? Um, why can't I master this? Why does mine always turn out so different? The reason why is because I was using the same brush over and over and over again in the same way. And sometimes to get different techniques, all we gotta do is just switch brushes. It's that simple. Now I'm gonna grab this mob eyeshadow, two taps, and we're using a smaller brush. We're using the E27 because we wanna make sure that it stays nice and contained. Picking up a little bit more, one, two. There we go. Don't worry about through here. We're gonna put pink base there. One more tap. I just did one tap just to kind of fill in over here. Look at how fun this is. This is so pretty. Um, I got y'all a link. I need a little bit more here. This is from City Color, and this is one of their canvas bases. The shade is Ladylike. That's the one that's going to be linked. And we're just going to take this all over our lid with our C30. It's a real sharp concealer brush, this one. Then just make sure that this is completely evened out. That's so important. We can't have none of that. It's got to look more like this one. See how smooth and even this side is? It's so important. Just press and smooth that. Might take a second longer, but it's going to wear way better. So now I do need to hop over to a more true pink. I think I'm going to grab this shade and I'm going to grab this on an E28. That way I can just pack on this color very quickly. One thing you are gonna notice, yeah, that's perfect. One thing you're gonna notice real quick is that you see this, how that's creasing? I don't wanna set that. No, no, no. That's a good example of what we don't want our concealer to do either. So immediately hop back in there, set that for it has the chance to crease again. We have no time. So I'm actually gonna take whatever's left and just kind of tie all this together. Smooth this top part. Ooh, I feel like a Valentine's Day box chocolate box is what i was trying to say <laughs> oh that's pretty 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 now i'm going to take this shade it actually has sparkles in it you can see them there they're pink but it's still a matte and that's going on our brow bone you see how subtle the line looks when i relax my eyes mm-hmm mm -hmm. Back with the Shiseido liner, and we're just going to smudge this onto our lash line. I'm not going to do a wing. And now before that sets, I'm going to grab the E27. And remember that very first shade? We're going to grab that in the center of the brush, not the side. We're going to grab it in the center so we can just press it and smudge it so easy and then we can clean all this up see how easily that smudges so nice i love these so much now since i brought my crease up so high instead of doing a wing we can grab a little bit of that shadow and this brush is so perfect for this. And since it is angled, we can tap it. And if you can't shut one eye at a time, just kind of look down. And we'll just angle this upwards a little bit. 
just for a little extra lift. Let's do Full Moon Lashes from Raquel Beauty. Now I'm actually gonna hop off because I'm gonna film. I'm not gonna do a review or a first impression. Um, I feel like I'm just gonna start doing those here on my story. But what I am gonna do and what I'm really leaning into is even more educational content. So I talked about this yesterday and how it's a long wear foundation and what they do, how they act. Sometimes they act up, but when applied properly, they're fantastic. So I'm gonna go film that really quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And this is the foundation that I used. The shade that I used is Light 018, the new one from KVD. Um, I really like it. I was able to wear it yesterday, wore beautifully. I'm finishing up setting it. I'm using my Gmail powder. I do have concealer on. I used that Benefit concealer that I used yesterday. I don't know about that one. We're still testing that one. But the foundation was fantastic. Press that in, press through here. And I have to go do a voiceover for something for the Rose and Dunn Beauty website. I will be right back. Two seconds, be right back. Okay, I'm already back. And let's finish up the face. What bronzer should we use? Let me find one. I wanna use my Gucci bronzer. You know what's interesting? Um, it's a really wonderful feeling. I see some of the most famous makeup artists using this bronzer and it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. I will never be that person that was like, oh, I discovered that first. There is no discovering anything first. There's no technique that hasn't been done. But I will say, I, I feel like I was one, I'll, this is a good way to put it. I was definitely one of the first people that started using this. And it's really nice to see that my recommendations are working for others. It's really nice because I want y'all, I know this is so spicy priced, but it is truly one of the easiest bronzers I've ever dealt with. It just makes putting on makeup easier and faster and more fun. So if you are wanting a spicy price bronzer, this is the spicy price bronzer. I also wanna give you this tip about, a, this is more about full coverage foundations and not long wear foundations, but with full coverage foundations, they absolutely blank out everything. And we might even think that a foundation is too light for us before we get everything else on. So try that foundation out by completing the entire face. Put on your bronzer, your blush, even finish underneath here if you wear eyeshadow underneath there. So before you go, oh no, this full coverage foundation isn't working for me, finish the entire process because that used to happen to me a lot. I would think, oh wow, this foundation is way too light. It's not, it's matching perfectly now. I just had to get all of my zhuzhing on. <laughs> I'm sure most of you know that this look requires this pink blush. And little tippy toenails. Douglas, what are you doing? Oh, it's so pretty. I wanted to do a soft pink look like this. I still wanna do a bright pink. So the next pink look I wanna do is not, it's not not feral. <laughs> I'm gonna go wild with the next one. I know that this one still might be even too much, but I still plan on doing a more um, rounded, just soft, smoky with maybe that same red lip. I'm sorry, that red lip changed my entire makeup life yesterday. I'm gonna say that to my highlights. I don't know what was going on with IG. And if you've ever wondered why I put blush on my chin, a lot of times we think, oh, you're just putting it there out of habit. When I'm in the wild. <laughs> My chest sometimes has a little bit of that redness, that pinky tone. So this just helps make everything blend together more naturally. Let's do a baby pink waterline. Now listen, this one's actually my favorite. We sold out the rest of these glowing lips. We're out of control with the selling out stuff. But by now y'all know that if I'm gonna show it, it's gonna be good. This color right here, this is gonna frighten some of you. But you have to remember, if you use a lip liner two shades darker than your skin tone, you can wear any lipstick. And this is just such a beautiful pink. It's so pretty. 
And this even as a center color to maybe one of your lipsticks that you know looks amazing on you, this to brighten the center, stunning. Now let me find a lip liner. Mm, I love this color. Let's do ColourPop lip liner in Oh Snap. Just for a little bit of definition. Some of y'all might have noticed that this creased just a little bit, which you notice never, ever, ever happens. But let me tell you why this sometimes happens. I am filming three videos at once. <laughs> I do this to myself. And I had to do a voiceover. Plus, I'm helping um, Ben just kind of get things together. So what happened? was I just wasn't taking enough time to press that eyeshadow into the base, which y'all see me do. Please check all my other saved highlights. But also, this is a good learning experience because I was in a hurry. And it just helps to take a little extra time and just really press that eyeshadow into the base. Also, don't three, film three videos at once, do voiceovers and answer emails. <laughs> Let's do some rhinestones. I'm actually just gonna do these pink ones. I have some pink ones here from Get Stoned, but I'm gonna use my lash glue, and this is such a great lash glue to use. This is the Duo Line It Lash It's what I use for my lashes, and then I also use this to apply rhinestones. So I just dotted some glue here, and it was re not recording, but here we are, and then I went here, and then I went underneath here. And then this little tool is also from Get Stoned, which I'm tagging them. And then just kind of press it on there. There you go. And if you need to move it, I like to use this side just to move it a little bit. Fun. Why not? It's a Thursday. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I actually know what day of the week it is. Oh, that's pretty. So fancy. I actually had a request to do a look with some rhinestones. And man, I've been doing rhinestones since before the euphoria fun kicked in. That's fine. Let's do one out here too. We need our glue. It's actually really easy. Ice makers come on to town. Sorry for looking down. I gotta grab them. <gasps> it ran away, but I still have it. Crisis averted. I got it. It's so fun. I know it's not everybody's makeup cup of tea, but listen. I like stuff like this brings me a lot of joy. And I feel like if it brings you joy and it's not hurting nobody, do it. And this brings me a lot of joy. So much. Okay, that's it. Now I am going to go get a Valentine's Day cupcake. Mm-hmm. I'm going. I'm very excited. I don't know. I'm thinking strawberry. All right. Oh, and by the way, um, those are not commission links that I'm linking. I don't want y'all to think that they are. Not, not that y'all care. I know that y'all, we love each other and you, you guys love to support and we're just a big family here. Um, but I want you to know that if it was a commission link, I would say this is a commission link. So those links that I'm giving y'all, I'm not making a dime off of. Those are just links. Those are just me going to find you the product so you can go get it if you want to. All right, I love y'all so much and I'm gonna film some more helpful videos after I go get my cupcake. Oh, and I might not post tonight only because I rarely do this, but my last, uh, the video before last is kind of in the algorithm. It's, it's doing nicely and that's such a helpful video that I wanna make sure that that reaches as many people as it can. And also, because I'm not posting tonight, that'll give me more time to film a follow-up video to that video. So if you don't see me post tonight, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just letting that video help as many people as it possibly can. Okay, I love y'all so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.